In this lesson, we will talk about a few R packages that support parallel computing. The package we will talk about most in this course is the R core package parallel. The advantage of using solely the parallel package is that your code does not need to be dependent on any other packages, which sometimes can cause problems. However, the power of R comes from user-contributed packages after all, so using other packages can make things simpler and easier for you. In the previous lesson, we talked about the MapReduce paradigm implemented for example in Hadoop and Spark, or more generally parallel approach to big data. If you want to experiment with that approach, you may look at the R package Sparkly R, which offers an interface to the Apache Spark engine, and the IO Tools package presented in the DataCam course Scalable Data Processing in R. I also recommend you check out the suite of packages PBDR, which stands for Programming with Big Data in R. In this course, we will focus on R packages that provide support for embarrassingly parallel applications using the master worker model. The two packages that we will talk about in more detail, in addition to the parallel package, are for each and future apply. The Snow package is the pioneer of this approach, and the core package parallel is mostly a re-implementation of Snow. However, not all Snow functionality has been ported over to parallel. Snow FT is an extension to Snow that adds important features such as reproducibility and ease of use. Adding simplicity to Snow is also the main focus of the package Snowfall. However, these three packages may be a little outdated. That's not the case with the package Future, which is under active development. It provides an abstraction layer or, or unified API for sequential and parallel processing. The Future Apply package, which we will talk about in this course, is an implementation of the apply type fun functions used in Future. You should be familiar with the basics of the parallel package since it was covered in the Writing Efficient R code course. You can use the function detect cores to find out how many cores your computer has. If you are interested only in the physical cores, set the argument logical to false. Function make cluster creates a cluster of nodes or a cluster of workers. Here we created as many workers as we have physical cores. The current R session serves as the master process, while each worker is a separate R process. The workhorse of the parallel package is the function cluster apply. Its first argument is the cluster object, here CL. The second argument, X, is a sequence whose length determines how many times the function fun, which is the third argument, is going to be evaluated. The evaluation is spread across the workers and the elements of the X sequence are passed as the first argument of the function fun. When a cluster is not needed anymore, it is closed using the function stop cluster. In our example, where n course is 4 and therefore X in cluster apply is a sequence from 4 to 1, the first worker gets the instruction from the master to evaluate R norm 4, the second worker R norm 3, third worker R norm 2, and finally the fourth worker gets the number 1 as its first argument. The master then collects the results, which in this case are 10 random numbers. Time to put this into 